Welcome to SQL reporting service and this is a video number 54 and in this video we are going to look at more about the Spark line. So in the last video what we saw was pretty basic which is we had some preview and it, it actually gave us the idea about the products has been sold over the months okay and this was the graph kind of which we had but this is not giving me uh, enough idea like um, is it a category wise or is it a product wise what 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 was it exactly or is it yearly monthly no idea right so that's why I have created a new report which is below this and this is a matrix report which will give you an idea like how the system works so as you can see on the left hand side where I have rows and I have the beverages and besides that I have products and on the right hand side you can see the columns of our year and below that you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 till 12 which is number of months and every month every product is making some sale and it is giving some output right and that thing we are presenting in you know the before uh, you know the total there's a column where you see the spark line we are trying to display some things graphically to make sense into the system like how it is working okay so in order to make this work we need to understand the query what's going on so basically uh, what you seen the query last time I have the same query nothing like more spectacular or something genius this is the basic query where I'm selecting category name product name how much sale has been done and I'm selecting month year I have few joints I have one condition and in the end I got a group by that's it so let's get started uh, let's get back to the design I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna copy this guy the matrix now this fellow over here gives me an option what you want to do so in the row I want the first of all I want the categories beside categories then you need to select the product name and either you can you in the I mean like uh, uh, you know you have to push I'm sorry you have to push it you know right here below the category name so but something is not working what just happened first I need to drag the category name onto the rows then I want to group more so I'm gonna group it over here I'm sorry something is not right I need to select this first of all okay category name one then I need to select the product name one okay so now it's working now uh, we have to be very careful because over here we have the same mapping right so on the left hand side it's ready now let's have a preview so you can see this is good okay next thing uh, we are going to configure the columns so columns we wish to see first of all by year in our situation I have kept the situation simple okay now in the end you drag the month from here onto the column groups okay now let's preview again so you can see the rows and columns are set but now we need to fill the values in right so the product sales will jump in and they have the value and let's look at the preview so actually now we have the complete data what we need right now let's do the formatting in order to differentiate the things pretty quickly so I'm gonna pick some girly color uh, let's say green that would be for year then for month I'm gonna choose something much more lighter so background color would be I don't know let's pick it as khaki in the end I'm gonna choose the category name and product name and all you know which needs to be again the light color has to be light blue okay this is a can color this is mess let's pick something else and let's preview that so basically our report is formatted nicely but I would like to isolate the categories so again the categories would be something like gray okay save it preview it all good right next thing I'm gonna uh, make these guys as whoopsie I'm sorry I'm gonna select these guys I'm gonna click uh, what is it? text box properties 
then I'm gonna go for a number I'm gonna go for currency and in the end I'm gonna choose English United States and where is it that's it and it's done let's preview it again okay still I have made a little mistake what did I do mm -hmm. I think I need to expand this a bit okay there's an extra yep result preview it preview what just happened okay so now we have some data to play around with okay so you can see the chai has made a sale of 489 dollars in the month of january in february was nothing and now we wish to see the whole in action okay so before we do that uh, i would like to have right click add total it should be uh, column wise okay at the very same time I would like a uh, row at the bottom okay and in the end I would like to add I'm sorry escape oops control Z escape escape and right click add a total row okay so now let's preview it one more time and let's change the color of these values so this is going to be let me check it is going to be pink let's say and this guy is going to be again let's see what color do I have okay so this is the color I have and what I'm doing over here is I'm summing up at uh, the different levels so as you can see hold on when I'm looking at uh, the beverages in the end I'm doing the total for the beverages which is in the pink color and if you look at the end I have some different color whoops I'm sorry let me go back to design and let me take this guy out now we don't need this guy anymore right so let's delete let's save it you should see the light brown color what you're seeing over here when I go to the end of the page this is the grand total and what happened why I'm not getting that yeah it's there it's not on the no and this is the grand total of all the totals okay so this is we have done so now the time for us to add a column okay once again escape and let me select this fella insert a column onto the left I'm sorry let me come here and insert a column uh, why I'm not able to do this I have to select column add insert column on the right okay let's preview that what is it okay it's an empty column okay so actually I don't need that I'm gonna delete uh, column and on the left hand side add insert a column onto the group inside left okay so now the things have begun okay so now this is a place where I'm going to put a spark line right so let me go back to the toolbox let me get the spark line let me put it in here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show a column chart okay so but in order to configure this we have to go like this okay the value as you all know is going to be product sales okay and I wish to see the things based on the year and after that a month okay but year is not gonna work because year is only 1997 so it doesn't make any sense and we are not grouping the things by category and product because they are already grouped and that's the reason why we are seeing the things correctly right so the only grouping has to be done by the month if there was extra year you could have added the group of year and then month now let's preview it so as you can see the regular data what you're seeing over here and in the end you are seeing some fluctuation is going over there but the interesting point is to notice and have you, are you seeing the one second hold on 
okay so the my point was the interesting point is to note is over here this is a place where I'm getting getting only four columns and why is that this is a bit of a problem it's not mixing of data uh, we have to fix it okay so basically what our motive is we are doing the math for the column of 12 so there should be 12 columns right so in order to fix that uh, you need to select right click on this then you have to choose two things one is a vertical we'll configure vertical first now the aligns the axis based on the there are two options the table X and this so I'm going to align this using a table X so what I did was the vertical first now let's do the horizontal align again the axis based on the tablets and let's hit OK and let's try to preview it and this time we should get different results as you can see right so uh, if you see uh, how can I show you so uh, one second control 2 and this should be uh, I'm sorry what are you seeing actually my point was right there so this is a location this is the first row where you seeing after one there's a gap there's a gap at 9 and there's a gap at 12 so if you look at the data over here there's no data over here there is no data and that's the reason why these guys are empty and empty in here right and if you look at the fab if you look at the record of fab there's no data right and that's the reason why if you look at in here there's no data if you look at one two three one second if now we are looking at this guy if I'm looking at this row and one second if I'm looking at this row and if I scroll further so I can see like there is a massive data eighteen thousand eight hundred three dollars has been generated for this product in the month of January and which is available right here so right so this is kind of a descriptive information which you are getting all over and this is like uh, if you're looking at uh, from the perspective of categories so you can see okay I'm looking at the beverages and I'm just looking at the record number one two three four which has some high figures what's the name of that product who's doing a good job right so like you are able to do the analysis accordingly now apart from that you can again uh, put you know the spike line in here so this will uh, give you the overall you know uh, the understanding of the system like how uh, we are moving the category wise so again I need to put the spark line in here and in order to make this work but I'm not going to conf configure this this would be a homework for you right so please remember these two properties horizontal and vertical uh, access uh, properties where you need to configure align access to the table X not to the values to which it is assigned and always remember to configure values and the categories okay so I guess this is it I hope this video gives you an idea how to use the spark line and you know to do stuff and if you got bored with this then again you can change you know the spark line chart type you can keep it as line okay and you can preview it so just taking a overview you are very much able to see like some graph is going on some plus and minus is going on there right so I hope this video helps you in some way and if it does then guys please share this video with your friends those who are in need and please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching this good night and take care